Hey everyone, welcome back to the Arena Productions, and today we're diving deep into House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 8, titled The Queen Whoever Was. But before we get started, I want to give a clear spoiler warning. If you haven't seen this episode yet, now is the time to pause this video, head over to HBO, watch the episode, and then come back here to join the discussion. So this episode was intense, and while it didn't feature the large-scale battles we've been anticipating, it served as an essential setup for what's to come in Season 3. So we see the final moves being made as key characters prepare for the inevitable conflict known as the Dance of Dragons. So the episode kicks off with Tylan Lannister attempting to secure the Triarchy's allegiance for Aegon's cause. However, things don't go as planned when he's forced to engage in a physical test with Admiral uh, Shiraka Lohar. So this moment is both surprising and pivotal, as Tylan's victory earns him the respect needed to solidify the alliance. It's an interesting twist that adds layers to his character, but it also shows the lengths to which both sides are willing to go. So next we, we witness Aemon's rage reach a boiling point as he unleashes destruction on Sharppoint burning it to the ground. This act of devastation showcases his increasingly unhinged state and foreshadows the brutal path he's on. Aegon, on the other hand, is struggling with his own issues, but it's Laris who presents a new plan, a retreat to Bravos. This plot point may seem like a diversion, but it's a clever setup for future moves, possibly aligning with the idea of Aegon returning as a hero after the dust settles. So Rhaenyra's storyline continues to develop as she now commands a formidable dragon army. However, this doesn't quell the underlying tension within her camp. The interactions between uh, Jaceres and Ulf highlight the ongoing struggles for acceptance and power within the group. Meanwhile, Corlys's return to the political scene adds a new dynamic, particularly with his ominous hint at another player yet to be revealed. And the episode also delves into Damon's journey, both physically and spiritually. His encounter with Alice Rivers and the subsequent vision at the Weirwood Tree mark a turning point for his character. The vision ties into the larger mythology of Game of Thrones, reminding us of the impending winter and the role that Daenerys Targaryen will play in the future. And I have to say, it was pretty interesting to see that White Walker look like a Targaryen White Walker. But anyway, Damon's decision to pledge his loyalty to Rhaenyra is a significant moment that sets the stage for battles ahead. So before we continue, I want to take a quick pause to remind everyone that if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, uh, and notification bell. Uh, this way you won't miss our next House of the Dragon recap and review when we uh, get to Season 3, or any of our other content, including our discussions on various fantasy series in the Arena Fantasy Series Discussion Portal, which uh, this coming month, of course, uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power Season 2 is going to be coming. So your support means the world to us and it helps our channel grow. So now back to the episode, Allison's secret visit to Dragonstone adds another layer of intrigue. Her offer to surrender King's Landing in exchange for her family's safety shows her desperation, but Rhaenyra's cold insistence that Aegon must die underscores the deep-rooted animosity between the two factions. Alicent's subtle nod of agreement is a chilling moment, indicating her willingness to sacrifice even her son to end the conflict. So the final montage uh, of the episode is a powerful build-up to what we know will be an epic confrontation in Season 3. We see armies marching, dragons take flight, and key players like uh, Reyna and Otto Hightower preparing for what's to come. So the episode leaves us on the edge of our seats, eager for the Dance of Dragons to truly begin. So in summary, uh, while the queen whoever was, was not uh, uh, delivered in the explosive action that some fans were expecting, it's a crucial episode that expertly sets the stage for the final act of, of, of the season. Uh, the character development, strategic maneuvering, and intense buildup make it clear that the true battle is just around the corner. So. I'm, I'm really excited to see how these storylines unfold uh, when it comes to season three, and I'm sure you are as well. So what what did you think of this episode? Let us know in the comments. Uh, do you agree with Rhaenyra's decisions? 
how do you think the upcoming battles will play out? Uh, especially for those of you who have not read uh, uh, the book, uh, Fire and Blood. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I love hearing from all of you. And, and don't forget to stay tuned for our next recap and review here on the Arena Productions. And uh, we're really looking forward to season three. It's probably going to be a long wait. But anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. So take care, everyone. Peace.